guys, I can't, uh, I can't do bees here. This was a horrible idea. Ooh, welcome friends to a new episode of Feed the Beast Revelation. I'm Clobberstomp. I hope you guys are having a great day. And we are hanging out today on my Feed the Beast Revelation Patreon reward server. Well, that's a friggin' mouthful. <laughs> so I hope you guys want to join me. If you do, you can go out to my Patreon uh, campaign. And for as little as $1, you guys can come join and hang out with me here. And you guys can go check out everything that I'm working on. We can play side by side on the same server. It'd be so much fun. I hope that you guys join me. It would be super amazing. Um, I didn't even show this off. Okay, we've got manulinium. We've got one block and one ingot. We've got cobalt, so we can start making some pretty baller tools. And one thing I didn't even try, which I mean I kind of did when we were in the Nether. We didn't. The whole purpose of making these tools was to do better terraforming. So let's get it done. Let's do some terraforming, guys. Let's see. Let's let's see how this goes. Ooh, ooh, this is good. Here we go. We're rolling. I feel pretty good. You know what we need? I need a magnet. So this stuff will just pick up. So I don't have to go police any of it. But this is pretty good. And I mean, yeah, the durability is not the best. It would be better to have Mendy Moss on it. Um, and stuff like that. But you know what? These are great tools. Um, do we... Oh, yeah, we gotta get here. Yeah, kill you, kill you. Here we go. There we go. So the... The durability is not the best. I probably could have added more durability to it. So I feel like we're kind of in the same boat as we were with the iron. But now I don't have to waste iron. I can just go get more obsidian. And I mean, I've got plenty of obsidian. I've already got a couple stacks. So it's not like we're running short on that at all. So not too big of a deal. But it does go faster. So that is a huge benefit to me, actually. So we like that. All right. And of course, it's already done. But look how fast we terraformed all that. Like, it was a lot more than I was able to terraform with my slow iron axe before. <laughs> Pretty nice. Let's pick up all this dirt. Uh, we really just want to get this all kind of terraformed. So we have a nice big area to work with. Um, I can start laying out some paths and things like that. All right. It's not a... It, yeah, we're not going to do that the whole time. You guys have seen that stuff. It's all good. There we go. So, um, put you away, put you away. Um, put all these other things that we gathered away. Gonna put these extra blocks here. All right. So, what do we want to do today? Uh, well, I think it's time to make our first apiary guys i really do i think it's time so i think what we need to start with is making a carpenter because we need another carpenter there's going to be a couple of different things that you can do with carpenters so we need a sturdy casing which is bronze and we need some glass and some more bronze so was that bronze yes bronze and bronze and bronze all the bronze so let's get a whole thing of bronze yes and then let's get a whole thing in glass. Bam. All right. And let's make a sturdy casing, just like so. Boom. And then let's go, whoop, boom, boom. And bronze and bronze. Look at that. We've now got ourselves a carpenter. Sweet! All right. Nice thing is what we need to do is I want to... Oh, we're not going to use that. We're going to do this. Ooh. All right, so that here's kind of the problem that we have. This has water running through it. That's why this one's filled with water. So, it's a little bit of a problem. Um, all right, we're going to do this a little bit differently then. Do this. 
Okay. Actually, no. I think we were in a good spot right there. Because first what we're going to do is we will lay this guy down here. Remove that. Uh, this is all temporary, by the way. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a... Will that fill? Oh, this. I wonder if that'll fill like that. Hmm. All right, I'm going to change this around a little bit. All right, we're going to place this here like that. Kind of goofy. I know uh, this is all going to get changed anyways, but uh, what do we need? We need a liquid fluid transfer node. And we need some of these guys. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the fluid transfer node like so. And this is going to fill up with seed oil. Now it will also get energy, so it will actually run. And it's not going to fill because it's it's not going to fill with the water because we filled it with the seed oil first. Okay, perfect. That's what we need. So the first thing we need to do when making an apiary is do all that stuff, but then... We can do this. We need to make impregnated castings. Casings? Casings. Um, so let's get some wood. We've got plenty of wood. Cool. So this should make this should make us eight. Eight of these guys. Let's put you back down like this. This is only temporary, guys. Bear with me. Uh, and we're gonna go like this. Okay, hang on. Jeez. Jeezers. All right. Do your thing. And there we go. We are making it happen. So, we're going to let that run. And while we're letting that run, we need other stuff. So, we need some wood, some planks. So, let's get that going. We'll get another stack of these bad boys like so. Um, let's do a whole stack of these. Okay. And... That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, that's two, four, six, eight. There we go. And five times eight is 40. Okay, we've got plenty. All right. Four impregnated casings like so we're going to put these across the top like that we can make eight boom we have now made our apiaries heck yeah and we have the rest ready to go as well uh, when these are done so where do i want to get these set up i'm thinking just right here for now uh we're going to terraform all that i just don't want to terraform it yet um two should we do two apart or one apart we can change them later, right? We can change them later. We've got ourselves some apiaries. Look at that. All right. So, since we're starting on the bees, um, let's get a forest and a forest and a meadows and a meadows. And do we have any drones? Really? We have no drones? How do I not have any drones? Only drones came? I think I have to go out and do some more uh, searching. Ooh, I have a queen, though. All right, so we don't need to do these Meadows Princesses. We can do the Meadows Queens. Those are going to be pure. Doesn't look like I have any forest. Huh, bummer. I'm going to have to see if I can get some. All right. Ooh. Uh, let's make it daytime again. Okay. I woke up to this little bugger here. Get wrecked! Oh, you got me! Okay, you're done. Thanks, jerk. Um, yeah, so we've got meadows, queens, forest princesses. I was really hoping to... So really what I wanted to do is I need to gather more bee stocks. So we can really only get started with the meadows right now. So we're going to do a meadows queen here. And a Meadows Queen here. Too dry. Too dry. What? Oh, man. Rocky Plateau is too dry. Oh, no. 
This is going to be a bad place for bees. Guys, I can't, uh, I can't do bees here. This was a horrible idea. Oh, the biome matters. So when you're doing, when you're starting bees, it's always usually best to start in, in like a meadow. Um, so a rocky plateau is not good because it's too dry. Even if we get um, some flowers, which I'm sure we have some around. There's there's some over there. Let's gather these up. I'm going to show you that these aren't... It's not going to matter because... Actually, none of those are flowers. <laughs> Crap. Um, yeah, your flax seeds, the brown guy... Excuse me. Okay. I was going to say, really? There's no flowers around? And these are all Botania flowers, so I don't even know if they're going to be legit. More Botania flowers. The time when you need Botania flowers, you can't get the Botania flowers. And the times when you don't need the Botania flowers, you get the Botania flowers. Really? Here we go. These guys should do just fine. No? Okay, so, well, we've learned some lessons today. Uh, check your biome before you get started with bees. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, guys. Dang it. Are, are this a rustic thing? It's going to give me other stuff. Yeah, shoot. Um, no flowers. Still no flowers. Yeah, I didn't think those would work. I wonder... I'm guessing even if I find the good flowers, it's not going to matter because they're not they're not going to work. I'm confident of this. Um, here we go, some poppies. Those are perfect. So we should solve our flower problem just by doing that, yes. But it's still too dry. Um, I do want to know what that's all about. It's normal and arid. So we actually need it to be normal and normal. It's just too hot here. The dry climate here has made the bees parked and unable to work. Use a habitat locator to find a wetter climate. A habitat locator? Well, let's get one of these going. Bronze? That's that's something we need to do. All right. Habitat location, baby. All right. Let's see here. Well, since we're here... so. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you guys probably already saw this coming. Um, we're going to have to change our base. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Um, let's get one of those and one, two, three, four. So we're going to have to lo relocate or we're going to have to have at least a second base. Um, we might have to figure out what we need to do to solve these problems. But, okay, let's click on that. Habitat locator. Um, honey required. Okay, I, I have some honey. Honey, okay. And let's put that in there. Nothing to analyze. Specimen to analyze. Um, let's just take a meadow princess. Put you in there. Okay, this is where these want to be. Plains, forest, Tiaga. Mushroom biome, swamp, and hills. Ocean, not so much. So we really need to find a plains. Um, oh, and does will this actually click? Habitat. After some time, the habitat locator will point straight to the nearest suitable biome when the indicator spins. You're there. Well, all right. I'm guessing. Okay, well... Um, well, I guess we're just going to go in this, this direction and see if we find one. Um, I'm going to go as far as I can and see if we can find the next available biome. What? Oh, and we'll, I'll, I'll bring you back when we get there. So see you in a minute. Okay, friends. So one thing I found is I'm only about a thousand blocks away. I'm not far and I'm in an ocean, a biome. Whoops. And, um, the bees work here. So as you can see, it just says no drone. 
they work normal normal so what you need is you need the temperature and humidity both to be normal and if you if you have a normal normal uh setup we could potentially start our base here uh, it is getting dark out so um that's kind of bad but i haven't gone very far but we do have this place really close to home so one thing i'm thinking is we do have this habitat locator and i'm thinking i'm just going to go further and see what we can find um based on the bees that we have uh, we might just hang out in the uh in the ocean um honestly i mean that might be the best way to go but i'm gonna forge on i'm gonna see if we can find a planes and see what we can find so i'll bring you guys back when i'm done all right friends we have made it i am in a birch forest which also coincidentally enough is not very far from home and the ocean about 1200 blocks and um yeah we can we could stay in here if we wanted um i might set up base over here but one thing i wanted to show you is i'm getting a lot of lag i think it's just because i'm spawning in a lot of chunks um but check it out you see the glowing light it is a lot easier to find beehives at night so when you are looking and searching for beehives do it at nighttime because it will help you tremendously when you try to find them boom okay we got ourselves a drone though which is great um so we can breed finally and then also we have the spinning beacon of awesomeness which tells you that we've made it to a suitable breeding forest or biome uh which is cool so we figured out how to use the biome or the habitat locator which is pretty awesome um, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, it works, which is really nice. So that gave us some more meadows. Yeah, I found some watery ones. Pristine, pristine, igno, ignoble. Uh, pristine are good. You want to, um, when you're going to be using these, you want you want to keep, um, Pristine are the best, um, and we'll get into that as we go. But um, So we found a suitable place. I'm going to probably do some more exploring to see if we can figure some things out as far as the habitat locator is concerned. Um, so setting my base up over there, not ideal. Um, so I don't think that we're going to stay there. We may stay there. I don't know. I have some decisions I have to make. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, maybe you guys can leave me some comments down below and let me know how I should proceed. Do you think we should go find a new base? Should we... Um, actually, what I want to see is, does this have RF tools? RF tools. It does. We have RF tools. So, And that means there's the teleporter here. Where is it? So there's a booster. Um, There should be... Yeah, here it is. Check it out. Uh, we've got a matter transmitter and a matter receiver. So we could set up a base elsewhere. So we could have our spawn base, which I think we'll keep. And then we could set up RF tools as well and get it going. So, yeah, biome habitat locator. Pretty awesome. Uh, definitely something that we need to work on. Um, and see if I can find maybe a good base. So, all right, friends, you let me know what to do down in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas and uh, what you think we should do. As always, please like and share on all your favorite social media. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode.